It's what the world had been expecting and this Tuesday the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has bowed to the inevitable and called an election. It follows Monday's surprise news that the country is now in recession. Well I'm joined now by, by John Hardy who is the head of FX strategy here at Saxo Bank. John, how significant is this given the fact that we thought it was going to happen? Has it been priced into the markets? Well, the initial reaction off of the uh, of this event being actually announced, uh, there there was very good sort of persistent leaks that he was going to call for snap elections and that we would see this delay. It came about. We saw the yen marginally weaker. We saw dollar yen pushing that 117 level again, which was the high right around that GDP release on Monday, and uh, and then it faded back a little bit. So uh, you know, the market trying to say is this priced in or is it not priced in? The market very very nervous. We're not seeing huge trading ranges, but if you look at um, options volatility, if you look at the, sort of the market temperature and how it's swinging in a very sort of short-term basis, clearly the market doesn't know the answer to that question. And uh, to me, there, there's so many factors here that are, that are in play. And I think the key one is that this yen move is not just about whether the price is right or not, it's about whether the market continues to have confidence that this, this money printing will lead to higher global asset values. Because here you have a, a very active bank of Japan printing unprecedented amounts of money, and we're still very clearly seeing this correlation with sort of risky assets. And to me, I'd like to see a, a equity selling off 1% and then the yen still being weaker. But that's not the kind of price action we're seeing. So I'm very sort of unconfident when wanting to trade this because it looks like you're, you're sort of trading a confidence game or you're trading risk appetite. So it certainly can go weaker, but I think markets are very nervous. And what about the sale tax hike? Because we know that's been put off for at least 18 months. How significant is that? This is significant in that it, it, helps, it helps the prospects for the Japanese economy, but it also in terms of the GDP numbers, et cetera. But it also suggests that they're, they're weakening on their, their intention to, to show sort of fiscal, uh, a sense of fiscal reality, uh, because that first VAT uh, or sales tax hike clearly had a huge impact and for much longer than they anticipated. So they're shying away from that. He didn't want to be in an election cycle, which he would have been in any way shortly after the next sales tax hike. That's why we're seeing a delay of 18 months. It puts it between elections and, and far off the map. Uh, and in the meantime, they get to see whether this new Bank of Japan easing program, uh, stepping up the easing, is, is going to have the desired effect. And given what's happened, where would you be putting your money if we're looking at dollar yen, euro yen? I think again, with this very nervous action, it's very difficult to trade the spot rate. You know, perhaps if we saw a really big, uh, sharp consolidation lower, and we saw some kind of technical uh, re reversal scenarios off of that, there might be some interesting spot levels. But to me, spot levels are very difficult. So I'm looking at options, longer dated options, in terms of playing for for yen weakness. Uh, I think it could go. There, there are not many out saying, and I and I tend to agree that there's, in, in theory, again, if we have confidence that this this sort of running around and chasing liquidity game can continue. Why couldn't we see dollar yen at 120 very quickly, maybe even 125, euro yen heading towards 150 or higher? Um, again, though, there's so many risks and to large spot moves if, if there's a risk off move in, in global equities for other reasons, etc. because there is a very big component of that yen, which is about risk appetite. Therefore, options, they're expensive, but they're expensive for a reason because they give you the protection of knowing that you're not going to get shaken out of a position due to sort of short-term volatile moves.